So I started this video by grinding 60,000 bellies, head to the frozen village, and bought the triple katana. Again guys, this sword costs 60,000 bellies. So we're gonna settle for this sword first, okay? So are you ready to grind? Let's go! Obviously, we are going to head to the starting island and defeat bandits. This sword has no skill yet, so we will be relying on our M1 and left clicks. But guys, that's fine. As long as we're using sword, it's kinda easy, right? So target level here is level 15. For the stats, don't worry, I'm gonna show it to you. There you go, melee 5, defense 5, block fruits. Wait a minute! Sorry, my bad. Sword 35. Okay, so next stop is the Fountain City. So here, we have three steps to success. First, Lure Galley Pirate. Two, Wall Strap. But guys, don't do this. Check this out, guys. When using your M1, don't on your fourth click, you will launch forward. So you need to avoid that. And you can do that by stopping at the third slash. Okay, so check this out. One, two, three. Stop for a bit. One, two, three. Stop. Guys, by doing this, you will avoid dying. Okay? I hope everything's clear. So once you defeat a galley pirate, you will unlock your first skill, their slashes. If you wanna use this skill, you need to learn how to sidestep. Check this out guys, if you use that skill, he will use his own skill. So again guys, all you need to do is sidestep. There you go. Okay, so our goal level here is level 60. You will also unlock your X skill when grinding here. There you go, so at level 60, next island is the desert. Our first target here, Desert Bandits. There you go, that is the X skill. They're very easy to defeat, no worries. So next up, level 75, our next target is the Desert Officers. I'll make things quick here. Our goal level is level 90. I'm gonna show you the stats again. So for the stats, melee defense 25, sword 220. Next up guys, Frozen Village. Don't forget to visit the cave. There you go. You need 135,000 bellies to buy everything here. After that, head to the snow bandits. Okay, so as you can see, while grinding here, I'm kind of lagging. Check that out, guys. Nice lag, by the way. <laughs> okay, target level here is 105. And after that, we can now start defeating the Yeti, the mini boss in this island. There you go. So guys, server up here until you reach level 130. Next up, the Marine Fortress. Our target here is the Vice Admiral. Guys, this boss is the fastest way to grind in the first sea. So I decided to grind, guys, listen. 8 million bellies by just killing this boss. <laughs> guys, you need that much money to unlock the true triple katana in the second sea. Okay? So for the technique here, remember the Galley Pirate strat. Okay, we're gonna do wall strat here. Check that out. And again, use left clicks. Again, avoid using the fourth click really fast because this will happen. Check that out. I nearly died. But as long as you do it properly, again, three left clicks and wait for a bit. And then three left clicks, wait for a bit. Okay? Okay, so guys, here again, we're gonna grind lots of money. We're not gonna focus on levels. And like I said, we're gonna grind not just two, three, four, five, six, seven, but... 8 million bellies. Okay, so after that guys, I decided to head to the prison and start defeating the swan boss. So by this time, I, my level is 391 as you can see. So again, the technique here is, is still wall strat guys. <laughs> can you imagine? We're doing wall strat the whole time. So guys, target level here is level 400. Now is the time to focus on levels. We have enough money to buy the TTK. So now we're gonna head to the magma village and start defeating the Magma Admiral. Yes, we're gonna do server up here. There you go, very easy to defeat. We're gonna level up 25 times here, okay? Which means we will reach level 425 or 426. For the stats, don't worry, I'm gonna show it to you. There you go, melee is 150, defense 220, sword 908. Next island is the underwater city. Our target here is the Fishman Lord. Don't worry guys, I have a strategy here. So you're gonna lure the Fishman Lord here in a wall and again wall strap. Yes, Gamer Nom, always doing a wall strap. But guys, that's the easiest way, right? You can defeat it face to face if you want, if you're strong enough, there you go. Our goal level here is level 500. Okay guys, next island is the Skylands. So here our target is another boss, the Whisper. 
Have you heard of the stone strat? So by standing here and creating distance, you won't get damage. Okay? So every after that attack, you can use your left clicks to damage him. After that, time it, create distance, and go for it again. Okay? So you're just gonna repeat that. Keep defeating him. There you go. Until you reach level 625. After that, you will now head to the Fountain City and defeat Gali Pirates again. Okay? Okay, so guys, we will be skipping the Gali Captains as well as Cyborg because they're hard to defeat compared to these mobs. Target level is 775. Make sure to do the Prison Quest. After that, head to the Middle Town, guys, and welcome to the Second Sea. Time to unlock the true triple katana. First requirement, you need to reach level 850 and finish the Coliseum quest. So I went to the Swan Pirates, yes, to start grinding until 850. After that, Cafe head to Bartillo and defeat 50 Swan Pirates. So fast forward it to defeating 50. After that, you need to beat Jeremy. He is the second boss in the Kingdom of Rose. There you go. Next, you need to feed the prisoners. So you need the code and it is located in the mansion. There you go. Here you go. This is the code. Make sure to memorize it. Now head to the Coliseum. Enter the code. And now you can head to the cafe and talk to the manager. And he will give you tips on how to find the legendary sword dealer. Again guys, you need to buy the Shisoi Wando in Sadi. There you go. So guys, for our first sword, we found it in the graveyard. There you go. Here is the legendary sword dealer, the Shisoi, for 2 million bellies. Okay, so after that, we went to the Swan Pirates. Goal here is 300 mastery and level 950. We unlock the focus shot here. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. And after that, the true quiet rush. Okay, let's move on. I'm gonna fast forward it. For our next sword, we found it at the Yusuf Island. Okay. So here it is. I go where you can get Kabucha. And the next sword is Wando. So guys, at 950, we can now grind at the graveyard and defeat zombies. This is a lot easier compared to the Swan Pirates. Again, our goal here is 300 mastery and level 1000. We will unlock our first skill, the Continuous Slash. Here it is. Actually, this looks really good, but the damage is not that high. There you go. So again, at level 1000, we will leave this area. For the stats, melee defense, I mean melee is 425, defense 625, sword 1950. Next up, snow mountain, target snow troopers. So we will continue grinding here until again we reach 300 mastery on Wando. We will unlock our X skill, the scatter shot. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. And that's it for our final legendary sword dealer. We found it at the Coliseum. There you go for our last sword, the Sadi. There you go. Is it pronounced Sadi or Sadi? Please correct me. And again, sorry in advance if I pronounce it wrong, incorrectly. So guys, again, Mastery 300 and we're in the Snow Mountains. So guys, we're gonna unlock all the skills. First up is the Sword Dance. Check this out. I don't like this skill, but maybe I just don't know how to use it properly. <laughs> there you go. Also, we will unlock the X skill, the true air slash. It looks like a, a Yoro skill, right? So guys, we have all the requirements. We will now head to the green zone at the highest point, the tree. Again, 300 mastery on all three legendary swords, plus another 2 million bellies. And that's it, guys. Finally, true triple katana. Congratulations to us! Check this out. This one really looks good. Zoro, Zoro, Zoro. Okay. So now, for the grinding part, we will head to the hot and cold. Let's check the M1 first. Guys, but we won't be grinding on this mob. I want us to focus on the Smoke Admiral. Okay, so again, we need levels. Guys, you can always do wall strat here if you want. Let's check this out. Just left clicks. There's a chance that you might get damage, but it's fine. There you go. So for the first kill, the Wolf Fang Rush. Here it is. This one is in slow motion because this skill is really fast. Target level here is level 1250. I'm gonna show you the stats. By this time, our sword is at max. Defense, uh, 900. We will add 3 stat points and melee 450. 
Next up, the cursed ship. Only target ship deckhands. Why? Wall strat. Yes, we can wall strat this mob. So again, we're not using any fruit. So again, we will rely on the wall strat. Again, target level here is level 1350. After that, we will head to the ice castle and start defeating Arctic Warriors. So at first, it's kinda hard to grind here, but once you unlock the Dragon Hurricane, everything will be easy. Check this out, I'm gonna show it to you. That is the Dragon Hurricane, one Wolf, Fang, Rush, there you go. Couple of left clicks and that's enough. Target level here is level 1400. After that, Ice Admiral. So Gamer Gnome, it's kinda hard to uh, defeat this one-on-one. -on -one. No guys, Wall Strat is the answer. Check this out. Guys, just one Z skill and left clicks, almost half HP. So guys, we're just gonna continue doing this. There you go. Use some skill to last hit him and grind until we reach level 1425. After that, we will now head to the Forgotten Island and defeat Sea Soldiers. We're gonna skip the other mobs. Also, the Tide Keeper, we won't be defeating that one because it's kinda hard. So guys, Target level here is 1,500. Again, I'm gonna show you the stats. Melee 500, defense 1-6, max sword. Next up is to beat Swan. Guys, don't forget to defeat Swan. Okay, we finished the Coliseum quest, right? There you go, we're gonna defeat this one. After this, damage Indra, right? Okay, just half HP, that's enough. And after that, you can now go to the green zone, talk to Mr. Captain, and third C, guys. Back to grinding, our first target is the Pirate Millionaires. So guys, you need to lure them without damaging them. Just go near them and they will follow you. So once you stack at least 4, you can now use your skills to burst them. So Z skill, X skill, there you go, and start dodging. They have lots of long range attacks. After that, Z skill cooldown, there you go, X skill cooldown, and that's it. Actually, it's kinda easy as long as you know the technique. Best time to live here is at level 1625. Next up, the Hydra Island. Target, the Island Empress. So here guys, we're gonna do wall strat again. Don't worry, this might be the best way because there are lots of bounty hunters in this island. You will still get damaged by the Island Empress, but guys, don't worry, it's enough for you to tank the damage until you defeat her. Okay, as example of a bounty hunter, this one, check this out guys. I think this dude has God Human. Also, he has CDK. He also has, guys, Soul Guitar. <laughs> Imagine this dude is really loaded. And for his fruit, he is using a Doe Fruit, not awakened yet. So, but with the help of Island Empress, we were able to defeat him. So I can say we can call him a high-level noob, right? <laughs> high-level noob. Anyway, guys, he came back just to watch me. <laughs> his name is the Killer. Okay, so again, we're gonna keep on grinding here to server hop until you reach level 1725. Next stop is the Great Tree. Guys, we have a new strategy here. So our target, the Marine Rear Admirals. The best way is to defeat them one at a time. Take note that we did not fight the Kilo Admiral because it's kinda hard. The requirement for that boss is you need to have lots of long range attacks. Okay, so we don't have that. So we're gonna focus on these mobs. Target level 1,800. For the stats, guys, max defense and sword. So now, all remaining stats will go to melee. Okay, that's the last time that I can show you. Next up is the Turtle Island. Target the Fishman Captains. So guys, same with the Rear Admirals. We're gonna defeat them one at a time because that is the easiest way to do it. Again, it's hard to dodge all of their attacks. There you go. So I decided to stay here until I reach level 2,000. Because I want to try new sets of mobs on the next island, and that island is the Hunted Castle. Our new target is the Living Zombies. So guys, this mob has Soru, so I decided to defeat them one at a time. There you go. It's kinda easy to be honest. Also, if you want more bones, you can grind more here compared to the Reborn Skeletons, okay? Okay, so our goal here is 2075, and after that, we are heading to the Sea of Treats. First mob to defeat here is the Peanut Scouts. Guys, I'm gonna show it to you once only. You're gonna lure four, right? Four at a time. And then you're gonna use your skills. Twice, two sets of Z and X skill. 
There you go. That's the first set. Check the HP. There you go. Almost dead. Wait for cooldown. Another Z and X skill. And that's it. Okay? So we're just gonna continue this. Yes, keep on repeating until you reach level 2200. Next up, Cookie Crafters on the Connecting Island. Our target, again, Cookie Crafters. Guys, you need more hits with this mob. So as you can see, you need two sets and one more skill or you can use left clicks to defeat them, okay? Okay, so there you go. See that, guys? One more skill and that is enough. Guys, there are lots of mobs here, but again, I decided to stay here because this is the easiest mob to defeat in this island. We're gonna stay here until level 2300. And after that, we are heading towards the Chocolate Island to defeat the Coco Warriors. So guys, check this out. 1Z and X skill is not enough. Again, you need to do it twice. Same with the Cookie Crafters and then some left clicks or one skill. So guys, we're gonna reach max level here. If you want, you can proceed to the next mobs, but this is enough to reach max level. Okay guys, so I think that's it for this video, and I hope that you enjoyed watching this one. So guys, here are the stats, max melee, defense, and sword. So again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out. Bye-bye.